I'm Courtney Dupree, I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm a communications major, concentrating in public relations with a minor in English, and I'm currently in my sophomore year here at East Carolina. My name is Scott Barber, I'm from Greenville, North Carolina. I'm graduating in May of 2014, and I'm majoring in architectural technology. My name is Sarah Melton, I'm from Rocky Mount, North Carolina. I am a health fitness major, and I'm a junior. I came to ECU um, based off the reputation that ECU had. Uh, the camaraderie and the um, school spirit that they had was what drew me here. I grew up in Greenville. I really liked uh, the town, the university. Um, and for the program that I wanted to go into, which is uh, kinesiology, I knew there was a really good program. I, I knew some people in it, and I just knew it was the right choice for me. I chose to come to ECU because I'm originally from Eastern North Carolina, and I've always been a pirate at heart. I applied to a bunch of schools, got my acceptance letters, and I decided I would visit before actually uh, sending my letter saying I'm accepting to attend a specific school. And ECU happened to be that school that I loved um, and really enjoyed when I came to visit, and that's why I came to ECU. My favorite thing about being here on campus is how it's such a big school with such a small school feel at the same time. Everyone on campus is so friendly and even though it's such a big campus, you still see certain groups of people all the time and you have the same classes of the same groups of kids and the professors are awesome. One of the best things about being a student at ECU is just the people here on campus. It's just a genuine atmosphere. Everyone's so excited to be a student at East Carolina and they're so friendly. You walk around campus and everyone says hey to everyone. It doesn't matter if you know them or not. It's just a really at home feeling at ECU. My favorite thing about on campus is the diversity. You have the trees, the brick walkways, but then you also have lots of people to interact with. You have different clubs and organizations for anything you could ever want to be involved in, and the instructors here are always so helpful. One of my favorite memories at ECU would have to be my sophomore year. I was at a basketball game where the Pirates were playing the University of Charlotte, and they were down kind of big at halftime by about 13 or 14 points. And all my friends were trying to convince me to leave the game, but I just, I felt something special and it turned out that after the half, the Pirates came out strong and they ended up winning the game on the last second shot, so that was a lot of fun and really exciting. One of my favorite memories was last year, uh, freshman year, my intramural water polo team made it to the championships and it was a group of people that started off, we were just a bunch of people that um, we all lived in the dorm together, didn't know each other very well, and decided to, to form a team. And by the end of the season, we all had become really good friends. And it was just awesome to kind of share that experience with people who had started off strangers and were now best friends. One of my favorite memories at ECU uh, is that since they do offer many organizations, I was actually able to be part of the EC Skydiving Club. We actually went into Washington, North Carolina, took a jump, and nothing's better than jumping out of a plane with some pirates. Uh, my favorite memory would have to be when I crossed into Sigma Omicron Epsilon Sorority Incorporated. It's the Native American sorority here on campus. To be able to find a group that values education and culture as much as you do and provide that home away from home, it meant a lot to me and I wanted to be a part of that group that valued it just as much as I did. This past fall, I um, was the leader of uh, the College of Business Canned Food Drive, and at first it started off really, really slow, and we, and we progressed really slow in the cans that we were raising, but by the end of the week, we had exceeded our goal by 145%, and I think that is the proudest moment I've ever had in my life, seeing the faculty, the staff, the alumni, the students come together to feed the homeless and help the food bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. I've just, I've never been so proud in my life. I'm part of puppet shows that make a difference and with this program we go to different elementary schools here in Pitt County and we perform puppet shows that educate children on obesity, diabetes, and just healthy nutrition in general. And with this program I've got to learn different techniques about puppeteering and so that's definitely something I never thought I would learn in college so it's a great opportunity to educate children while learning something new for myself. My freshman year here at ECU, I began a human trafficking awareness campaign called Sell Tacos, Not Children. 
This campaign focuses specifically on trafficking in Belize, but here locally as well. I partnered with an organization in Belize called the Child Development Foundation, and this past summer I was given the opportunity to go work with the organization there and um, to spend time with the women that run it and also to work with a children's home called Marla's House of Hope that supports victims of human trafficking. Mostly I'm involved with Rocking Horse Ranch. They are a therapeutic riding program and we have about 75 students that we give lessons to and interact with the horses and I'm actually the youngest board member. I just got on the board this year so I've been now not only volunteering since I've been little but now I get the other side and fundraising and seeing how the program works. When I first went ahead and received the scholarship, I was truly ecstatic. I feel so honored to have been selected as one of the recipients because it allows me to express my pride for my campus and my college community while at the same time helping to defray some of the cost I will encounter at medical school next fall. The scholarship means that I make a difference here at ECU, that I have done my part and I have made every commitment possible to be able to make myself different from every student here. And being able of the one student out of 20,000 that may have got the scholarship is just awesome. After I graduate from ECU, I plan to go to graduate school and get my master's in education and become a teacher. After undergraduate, I would really like to go to medical school, hopefully Brody, and continue my education in medicine and go on to be a doctor. After graduation, I'm going to begin the Doctor of Physical Therapy program here at East Carolina University. Once a pirate, always a pirate. So I will stay here in the community and upon graduation from the Doctor of Physical Therapy program, I plan to stay here in Eastern North Carolina and pursue physical therapy as my career. Where's the first down? Pirates! are. Arg! 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 Thank <laughs> you.